Hey guys, this is David with Joe's Gaming Ultronics here with another repair video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to replace the main neckband for the Bose QC30s. Uh, this is the big issue that these uh, particular earbuds have. After a while, when you bend these enough, one of the speakers begins to crackle and also um, the little rubber here begins to peel off. That's a good time where you should replace your neckband or have us do it for you. So let's get into the video. First thing you're gonna wanna do is pretty much heat up this area here with the heat gun in order to remove this uh, tab here or this uh, panel. We'll go ahead and begin. So I have the heat set at 200 degrees Celsius with about 40 uh, speed. I'm going to go ahead and heat this up a little bit. You want to be careful not to heat up the top panel as you don't want to melt it because you're going to be reusing that panel. Grab a flathead screwdriver once you heat it up a little bit and kind of do a little incision and pry this, start prying this panel up just like that. Alright, so that looks good. So now what we're going to do is unhook this antenna. And use the heat gun again to heat up these uh, little rivets that are holding the board together. push that up. What I'm going to do is remove this flap here with the flathead screwdriver just kind of push it through. Pull that through you can set that aside. Go ahead and heat this section up and sort of pry it up just like that. So there's a ribbon cable that's connected, which is part of the main housing here. As you can tell, there's a little ribbon cable. That is the part that goes bad. So what we're gonna do, there's a piece of tape. Take the piece of tape off from the connector. You're gonna need that tape, so don't throw it away. Unplug it, got that out. So some models, have, or uh, there's the two different variations of this exact model. Some don't have this antenna. Some have it built into this piece here. So if it's a little different, don't worry about it. So next part, you're gonna wanna remove this little plastic white LED, this is where the LEDs shine through. Kind of remove that. All right. That looks good. Set that aside. And now we're gonna heat up this side too. Just like we did the other side, kind of heat them up from the bottom. Kind of loosens the bond of the glue that's holding it together. A 
once again we're going to make a little incision so with the right side you want to be careful because there's a battery right underneath it you don't want to puncture the battery or you will need a new battery so we got that now you can kind of pry this battery up and remove the tape off the clip. And remove the, undo the clip. Just like that. So, you won't be needing anything else from this part here. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. So this is a new neck band that we do sell on our website and now we're just going to pretty much attach both sides make sure it functions and we'll go from there all right so get the what I like to do is use a piece of foam with a little slit here gonna help you kind of maneuver this so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the battery side all right we got that plugged in and let's plug in this board here power board and main Bluetooth. Just like that. So we have both sides connected. I'm gonna see if I can uh, connect this to my Bluetooth settings here. Let's connect antenna. You want to press and hold. All right, it's in pairing mode pops up. Check for both sound, sounds on both sides. All right, this looks good. All right, now that we have confirmed that both sides work, we can go ahead and put this together. What I'm going to start with is the side here. And what you want to do is get a little bit of super glue. And attach this piece here. Kind of glue this down. like that and this little piece from the old neck band helps with the, the click of the button so now what you can do is push down this power board, kind of get it into place. I'm gonna get a solder iron and melt these little posts here that keep the board down.
All right, so that looks good. Next step, what you want to do, install the charge port cover. Kind of pull that through. Just like that. Make sure the button works. Looks good. I like to confirm that the music plays from both sides before I glue anything. Looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down this side here. Make sure everything fits. That looks good. So what I'm going to do is put a rubber band around one end, the battery side. So I'll work on that later. And I'll go ahead and glue this, this part here. So what we use is this 3M black super weather strip gasket adhesive. We find this to work the best and is what we recommend. So. You're gonna need this and you will need a few strips of plastic wrap to kind of hold the frame down when you glue this. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this, add some of this adhesive. All right, you wanna be careful not to get any of this on the outside edge, because it might be a little difficult to clean afterwards. But if you remove it before you, before it dries, it should be good. So what I'm doing is I'm removing all this glue that's coming out, because it's easier to clean it off before it dries. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So what we do with the shrink wrap, once you have the panel down, pretty much just wrap, wrap it. Allows the panel to be nice and flush, just like that. I'm gonna do that all the way down. Just remove all that glue, residue. Get another piece, do the same thing, kind of like a tight wrap. I usually use three pieces. one side all right so that's how it should look and let's go ahead and glue this next part at least one of the sheets of plastic wrap ready for you. Okay, now we can place this panel down. 
once again removing all the glue that comes out in the beginning it's much easier to clean it off before it dries looks good And finally, the last piece. All right, so that's where now we have to give it about 24 hours to set and dry and we'll remove the shrink wrap and test how good it was bonded. All right, so we had this cure overnight. Now we can remove this plastic wrap. Let's go ahead and remove this. All right, so we got that all off. And you can clean off all the extra residue that's kind of built up from the glue. And that's pretty much it. Make sure these work. Power on. Get into pairing mode. We are good to go. If you guys have any more questions regarding this repair, feel free to comment down below. We do offer these neck bands on our website. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.